Velma is a show that has been on the radar of many fans for quite some time now and unfortunately, it is not for any positive reasons. Fans immediately knew that something was off about the show when it was announced and right after the first trailer dropped it was clear that this spin-off was going to be a complete disaster. The original reactions to the show were received poorly and that reaction can be attributed to quite a few reasons. One of the biggest factors in all of the backlash has to be the first teaser trailer that they dropped. It did not take them longer than 10 seconds to go after the fans and start calling all of them toxic. Lately, with new shows, there is this trend where showrunners and actors think that it is a good idea to insult the fanbase of an existing IP, and then once they get backlash, they are completely shocked by the reaction as if it came out of nowhere. There is a growing trend happening in Hollywood right now where they reboot classic IPs and then task showrunners who do not like the original creator's work with the job of creating a new story. The result is always terrible as all these shows turn out to be nothing like the original and completely ruin the spirit of what the show is supposed to be. Most of these rebooted IPs are filled with character swaps, completely changing their backstories and identities. This always leaves one very important question. If you do not like the original work and you have no intention of honoring the IP, why even bother accepting the job? Why not just create your own original IP? Now, I ask that question but we also already know the answer. No one is going to watch the garbage that these people put out so they need to attach their work to existing IPs in order to get traction otherwise no one will care about anything that they do. Before I move on to the disaster that is Velma, there are a few things to note about rewriting an IP. Reboots if done right can actually be quite good. I have really been enjoying the Karate Kid reboot on Netflix and honestly, the Chucky reboot series has also been done extremely well. The secret to those shows' success might lie in the fact that they bring back the original creators to assist with the projects. There is also something to be said about source material. I do not think too many fans care about you staying true to the source material. What they care about is a good story. The secret to a recast or a rewrite is very simple. Just write a good story and people will not care what you do. Respecting the source material and following the source material are two very different things. If you respect the source material and the fans, most won't have a problem with you writing a new story that does not follow the old one. Again the secret to success is a lot simpler than you think. Just write a good story and everything else will be forgiving. This however brings me to the hot mess that is called Velma. The showrunners here follow none of the steps required to make a good show. Velma decided to completely change all of the characters in Scooby-Doo, giving them brand new backstories. This is my own personal opinion but I do not care about race swapping or even sex swapping. As long as the spirit of the character is there I do not care what race or sex they are. With that, let's talk about Shaggy. None of the characteristics that made Shaggy special in the original is here. While it has always been accepted that he is a stoner, that is pretty much the only similarity that they share here. Fred who is the leader of the gang and one of the brightest detectives has completely changed up as well. In this version he is a complete moron and just all around terrible person who displays none of the qualities that made him so likable in the original. As for Velma, everyone by this point knows that it is just the writer Mindy who inserted herself into the character. The end result leads to a disastrous outcome. With that said though, the show is not without its supporters. This article by Crack does the typical song and dance, deflecting away from all criticism and drawing the conclusion that fans are just upset over the diverse cast. Although you will always have one or two weirdos who have mental breakdowns when seeing a black person on screen, the overwhelming majority of backlash for this show has been the extremely poor writing, outdated jokes, and the insistence on blasting the fanbase. Ignoring all of those points and just drawing your typical conclusion of you are a bad person if you did not laugh at my joke is extremely stupid. All of the comments for the latest trailer have been turned off and it is easy to understand why. The show is being disliked into oblivion and honestly, I do not blame people for not liking it. Over on Rotten Tomatoes, it is not doing much better either. The reviews for the show are starting to roll in and thus far it has not been very great. It has a 50% score from critics which is obviously not extremely high, and a 10% from the audience. I am surprised by the low score that the critics gave the show as they will usually not do that but this time around it seems to be unanimous that the show is not very good. I read through some of the comments made by the critics and it does not read very well. One actually summed it up very well when they said that the show falls apart due to uneven humor, very little mystery, and a core misunderstanding of Velma herself. That is where most of the show falls flat for many, the misalignment with Velma. It is clear that the character was not written using the backstory of the original but instead just a self-insertion of the lead writer Mindy. Using an existing IP to insert yourself into a story and attach yourself to an established character is never a good idea. Overall most people are not enjoying the show and therefore it is obvious that HBO will renew it for six more seasons.